If you want to fly, give up everything that weighs you down. If you want to soar in life, you must learn how to fly. That's F-L-Y. First, love yourself. I do own a couple of drones, GoPro Karma, the Skydio, the DJI Mini Series, DJI Mini 3 Pro. I've recently got the DJI Mini 3 Pro and it's been amazing so far. I mean, just a quick unboxing right now. Now back. <laughs> and it's been amazing so far in my opinion, just my opinion, compared to all of the other drones that I do own. This one that really caught my attention, what is that? It is really silent. It is really quiet. Really quiet. And that was amazing to me. I mean, you won't get like those attention from other people saying like, oh, what, what is that? Like a bee husband or something like that. But that's just one of the good things about this drone. I mean, it's quiet. It's smooth, very smooth. Camera quality is great. The video quality is something else. <laughs> I mean, the, it does have the D-Cine like. You can shoot uh, through MOV, MP4, H.264, H.265, whichever best handles with your computer. And you'd be surprised on what you can capture with this thing. And this captures amazing photos. I mean, just take a look at it right now. Bam, bam, bam. And that's not color graded. Well, if you want to see the color graded versions, uh, go ahead into my Instagram account. Make sure to follow. Check those out. If you live in a place where you think that you have nowhere to go to fly a drone, probably just uh, try to rethink that because you can definitely shoot anything in the sky. Just think about the strong suits of your location. Like for me, I live in Florida. What do we have here in Florida? A lot of beaches. There's a bunch of things that you can capture. It's a, you'd be surprised on what you can. Being up in the sky and looking through your remote control, that's already a whole different experience and that's already amazing enough of course we all have that fear of flying because you know everything is you know going off at a distance i mean you're throwing away your 900 1000 dollar camera drone into the air and you can't even see it so that's scary enough there's a whole bunch of other things like licensing and Am I supposed to, I mean, can I drone here? Or what if it magically turns off and it just jumps in the water and makes a swim? If it decides to, you'd go for a swim too. <laughs> Losing your drone, you'll definitely have to run after it if ever it does malfunction. Just have fun. Because flying a drone pretty much, you know, simulates the, the feeling of flying, of being free from yourself. Fear is nothing more than an obstacle that stands in the way of progress. Overcoming our fears, we can then move forward stronger and wiser. What I think. quick side story of it. Flight has always been a curious feeling for me. The thought of, you know, being free, the thought of being on top of the world, the thought of, you know, just going places at a, at a good amount of speed, just like Superman. <laughs> now, I've always looked into Superman, Peter Pan, you know, and even Maverick for like Top Gun. Yes, Top Gun. I've watched that when I was a kid too. All because, you know, because they have the ability to do so. And since then, when I was a kid, I was determined to being a pilot. I mean, it didn't matter have to be like a fighter pilot or a commercial pilot. I just wanted to be a pilot. Unfortunately, um, my eyesight wasn't, did not fit the requirement for flying a plane. 
This was back in the 90s and I wasn't allowed to fly something like that because of my eyesight. You have to have like a 20-20 vision. I mean, not compared today because you do their, I mean, modern technology now these days have like a uh, LASIK for your eyesight. And that is something that you can do to help better best your eyesight. I mean, who knows, maybe my future self will be watching this video too, saying that I was actually able to do or get LASIK. Did you? I mean, because technology these days have been growing so fast. I mean, especially in the category of drones. And this is one of them, the DJI Mini 3 Pro. If you're having a hard time trying to decide whether to get this or not, I'm pretty sure you won't get disappointed. I would highly recommend to, but of course in your own risk of flying a drone. I mean, it weighs 249 grams, so a license isn't required. So that kind of gives you like the ease of mind for flying a drone like this, because this does not weigh heavy at all. It just feels like a toy when you hold it which is surprising. And when it's in the air, it feels like it's high in production. I only got the DJI Mini 3 Pro and the RC, the remote, just those two. I didn't get like the fly more package or anything because it's too expensive for me and I couldn't pay for that. <laughs> you know, this is our opportunity to do something for we've been longing to do, no matter what it is. And for me, it's flying. There's my small little story and uh, this is just a, a little video for like uh, flying the DJI Mini 3 and it's been amazing so far for me. I mean, I hope you guys get the, like the same experience what I do and it's, uh, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. I mean, DJI is coming out with uh, a whole variety of different kind of drones and um, this one I think is just like a, a perfect kind of like a, a beginner kind of drone and it's fun. And you gotta enjoy life, do all that stuff. So, thank you for watching. And thank you for sticking around. And maybe a subscribe would be a good thing. That would help me out a lot. Thank you very much. Please subscribe, like the video, and tell me what you think about it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video, okay? Bye.